Are you going to direct U.S. funds to pay for this wall? Will American taxpayers pay for the wall? Uh, ultimately, it'll come out of what's happening with Mexico. We're going to be starting those negotiations relatively soon, and we will be in a form reimbursed by Mexico, which so I've always said. So they'll pay us back? Yeah, absolutely, 100%. Yes. So the American taxpayer will pay for the wall at first? Uh, all it is is we'll be reimbursed at a later date from whatever transaction we make from Mexico. President Trump says his new executive orders will strengthen immigration enforcement and restore the rule of law to the country. But one backer of reduced immigration says Trump's crackdown is in part fraudulent. Mark Krikorian is the executive director of the Center for Immigration Studies, and he says Trump is already abandoning key immigration promises from his campaign. He joins us now. Mark, good to see you. So the left is very upset because they think he's shutting down the borders and it's nativist. You say that's an illusion. He's not doing what he ran on. Well, I wouldn't say fraudulent. That's not a word I'd use. Okay. Incomplete, Incomplete is probably the word. Because the stuff that he released today is actually very good. I mean, he had two, two uh, executive orders on interior enforcement and border enforcement. That stuff's all good. What hasn't happened is the DACA program, right. which is an amnesty for illegal immigrants who came as kids. The DREAM Act is some, right. some, uh, what it's called sometimes. Obama couldn't get it through even the Democratic Congress, so he just did it on his own. And it was one of um, candidate Trump's chief points, talking points, was to get rid of these unconstitutional executive orders. And maybe he's still going to do it at some point, but it was a very clear, I will immediately cancel these orders. And it doesn't take that much to do it. He just has to send a memo to say, hey, knock it off. Stop doing it. So and you're, done you it. also said that repealing DACA deferred action for childhood arrivals does not mean deporting large numbers of right. people. It just means stopping the legalization of them. Right, exactly. It's a two-year amnesty that gives work permits, Social Security numbers, driver's licenses, a lot of things. Right. But it's two years. So they need to at least stop renewing them and stop issuing new ones. And yet they're not doing How that. How hard would that be? Nothing. You just call up. Homeland Security and say stop, stop processing these. So I think, if I don't have this wrong, that the administration says it's, it, that's on the way. Hopefully. And uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'd be delighted to see that. But there's no reason it shouldn't have just happened Friday afternoon. Because it's not something like these executive orders that they uh, signed today were actually kind of detailed. There were some lot of specific statutory citations. It took some lawyer work yes. to put these things together. That doesn't take any lawyer work to simply say, suspend processing until further notice. So is, that, is DACA the main thing, or are there other things that you're concerned DACA about? DACA is my main concern. Uh, this, now there may well, again, DACA may be canceled still. It's just that it's taken a while. There's no reason it should have taken this long. Okay. The other thing is that's not in the executive orders today and may well be coming, I hope it is, but it's something we need to understand is that worksite enforcement and turning the magnet of jobs off. Yes. is an essential part, in fact, probably the most important part of enforcement. I'm pretty sure they're going to get to that, yes. but they haven't, it wasn't in the uh, executive orders today, and I'm looking forward to seeing them at some point. There is, the of future. course, a powerful lobby here in Washington that's opposed to that. Right, absolutely, and that's why it's been held up so long. In fact, actually, there's two lobbies that are kind of opposed to it. One is the obvious, you're alluding to businesses, cheap labor yes. employers. But on the left, they say that they're for it, um, this is, uh, you know, uh, uh, the ban of the, the uh, online system right. to make sure companies check who they hire. The, left pe the people on the left say they're for it, but they're actually holding it hostage to amnesty. So they've actually prevented it from going into effect. I think they'd because be for they it because it undercuts wages, but uh, maybe not. Mark, great. Great to see you. Thanks Thank for you, that. Tucker.